Hey guys, it's the Freight Guru here. And today I want to talk to you about this Beast Canon R5 cinema rig that we built. Reason personally I built it for our company, uh, the Freight Guru podcast, is because I'm 100% committed to high quality content in 2021. It's been uh, my mission statement since the beginning of the year. I feel, uh, you know, COVID is starting to transition uh, into something of the past. And I wanted to I wanted to build good quality content in the future. And the way I thought I could do that is by getting really good camera setup. And this Canon R5 Cinema Rig, I think, is a beast. So I have here every item I bought on Amazon. I was able to do everything on Amazon. It did take four to five weeks to get everything. Uh, the first thing we're going to review here is the Canon R5. Um, I personally don't use it, but I'm obviously uh, utilizing in our podcast every week. And I think it's an amazing, amazing uh, difference between the Canon and other Canons that we've purchased in the past. I'm very happy with the Canon. Um, love the the setup. And um, yeah, so we got this here on Amazon. Next thing you're going to see is that I uh, I purchased a lot of uh, small, small rig components. Really like small rig. Um, our cameraman loves small rig. Super compact, super easy to use. Um, and super user friendly. So this is the small rig top handle grip with locating point. Here is the small rig universal aluminum side handle, and this is a, another another component in order to be able to accommodate you know moving that cinema rig, um, especially uh, remote. So it's a great component um, part of the the cinema rig setup. Here we have a power junkie adapter for the Canon, um, and uh, this is for. A uh, uh, dummy battery for Canon cameras and Blackmagic Pocket Camera 4K um, by Bl Blind Spot. This is the small rig 15 millimeter car carbon fiber rod. Um, this is the component that would go with the uh, uh, camera base plate and the small rig uh, 15 mill mill millimeter uh, rail block. You can actually combine these three together. Um, really, really good part of the cinema rig, uh, makes it, makes it super sturdy. Here we have the small rig universal 15 millimeter LWS rod mount lens provision. And again, you can kind of combine all these things together in order to save some money. This is the small rig HDMI and USB-C cable clamp. And this also, and you can see the setup here. This is something similar to what we built. Uh, I think we built a little bit more robust, but you can see here the rods. You can see the cage. You can see the handle. And it's just a complete beast. I mean, it's just amazing. Here we have the Tilta Nucleus Nano with P-TAP cab cable wireless focus control system for wirelessly controlling the focus of most DSLR mirrorless. So this, this is great. Uh, this is part of that small rig setup. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you can see it's not available right now. We also had to wait a while for this. Waited like three weeks uh, to get this. It's just an amazing, the nano system's amazing. It's just, just a great setup. Okay, here we have the pre-mixer. Uh, you have the sound devices, Mix Pre 3, portable. You could actually, you're going to need to add a double-sided tape to the bottom of this. Um, I recommend also getting the uh, battery sled pre-mix and the 64 gig gigabyte uh, uh, scan disc. I, I think it's all three together. You're going to save yourself about 40 bucks. I think it's a good idea. Here we have the Ninja, Atomus Auto Ninja V5. This is the uh, the the screen display for for the cameraman, uh, super user friendly, and you do need to get the combo. Uh, I, I highly recommend doing that, getting the combo. Um, it is expensive; it's seven hundred forty five dollars, but but it is a absolute gem uh, when you put it together um, and you're able to uh, view it from the Ninja. It's great. Now, this is preference. There's a couple lenses that I got. I got 
I got a couple lenses uh, because I wanted to be able to do some outdoor stuff as well as indoor. So this is a Canon RF 15, uh, 35 millimeter. And as you can see here, you could do, you could do a combo here, uh, camera lens. Um, I just bought the, I just bought the lens. And finally, uh, the, the Canon EF wide, uh, 24 millimeter. This is, I use this every week for our podcast, the wide lens, absolutely insane product. Beautiful. This with the R5, it's a no brainer. Then you throw that in with the cinema rig and it is a beast of a setup. So, um, like I said, I I'm, I'm committed to, uh, you know, improving our podcast every week and doing a better job of providing good quality content. And I think that the only way to do that long-term is to have good equipment. And, um, this equipment was definitely very expensive, uh, but it's an investment. If you want to be serious about doing podcasts, I think there's three key components, good lighting good equipment, and then you got to be consistent. You got to be consistent in the day-to-day, -day and um, and you got to have good equipment. So, you know, made the investment. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to show you the, the the cinema rig built out, the Canon R5. It's a complete beast. Signing out here, the Freight Guru. Have a great day, guys. Hey, guys. So you just finished watching that video on every item that I purchased on a Amazon to build this monster cinema rig setup. Now, I want to talk to you guys about why I think it's important to get high quality production out of your podcast or whatever videos you're doing. As I'm building my YouTube page and trying to become the freight guru to the trucking community, I think it's imperative to do three things that are key to producing the highest level of production on your YouTube page. And that's why I built this ultimate cinema rig. And the reason is, is because in production, you have three things that you can control. Lighting, final edit, and the equipment you use. And this is a monster setup. This is an absolute monster. So let me know what you think about this setup. And hopefully you guys keep on tuning in and seeing how I'm building my channel.